So figuring your Archer MSA deduction, the amount you can deduct for Archer MSA contribution is limited by the applicable portion of the HDHPs, that's the High Deductible Health Plan Annual Deductible Line 3, and the compensation, compensation. from the employer maintaining the HDHP Line 4. So any employer contribute uh, contributions made to your Archer MSA prevent you from making deductible contributions. Your employer contributions to an Ar Archer MSA will be later. So also, if you or your spouse made contributions in addition to any employer contributions, you may have to pay an additional tax. See excess contributions you made later. So you gotta be careful to be in the regulations on your contributions. So you can't deduct any contributions you made after you became enrolled in Medicare. So Medicare, uh, once, you, once you're eligible for Medicare because you've reached the age to be eligible for Medicare, then that's kind of like health, the health coverage, right? So, so oftentimes if before that time, so now we've got a system where you kind of have like government health care or insurance for the most part, Medicare after, after uh, you're qualified, after you reach the age to qualify for Medicare, which means that you, you wouldn't really have the high deductible plan at that point. Which, which means that, which is what you need to have in order to get access to the archers and all that kind of stuff. So that, so, so that's where the Medicare kind of comes into play here. Also, you can't deduct contributions if you are someone else's dependent. Employer contributions to an Archer MSA. If an employer made contributions to your Archer MSA, you aren't entitled to a deductible. If you and your spouse are covered under an HD, HP, a high deductible health plan with family coverage and an employer made contributions to either of your Archer MSAs. Neither you nor your spouse is allowed to make deductible contributions to an Archer MSA uh, because the employer is making the contribution. So, and okay, so if you and your spouse both have an HDHP with self only coverage and only one of you received employer contributions to an Archer MSA, the other spouse is allowed to make deductible contributions to an Archer MSA. So that's a, a general outline. For more information, you can take a look at the instructions for Form 8853, Archer MSA and Long-Term Care Insurance Contracts, which you can find at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov.